a lot of people say he, he doesn't, like, no one would know if he was ever sick. You know, that's how good he's doing. He's talking. He's eating. He's grown a lot. Anthony might be actually the sickest child I've ever transplanted. He was um, less than 10 pounds, uh, tiny little guy, sick as can be, and uh, we didn't have the option of a living donor. Unfortunately for him, there was not an available donor. Many of the evaluations we saw um, the, the, the part of the liver that we can remove from an adult was very big for him, uh, so we, we couldn't really use any living donor for him. So we had to wait, and we had a very narrow window of opportunity, and a, a deceased donor, somebody who's brain dead and the family gifts the organ, came available, but it was too big for him. And so we were actually able to cut it down into the smallest anatomical size, and then even cut that in half. These types of transplants are maybe done once or twice a year in the entire United States, and it's called a mono segment, just a single segment of the liver. We prepared that graft, and then Dr. Florman very successfully implanted that uh, little piece of liver in Anthony. The care he received at Mount Sinai was really, really great. He got everybody, everybody was attached to him. It, it's really rewarding seeing Anthony growing and uh, looking like a normal child, and uh, that is really what give us you know, the strength of you know, keep doing uh, all this effort to get to this point.